Hey guys, welcome back, or if it's your first time here, welcome. I hope you enjoyed this video as well as my channel. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more from me. So for today's video, I put together all of my makeup and beauty travel essentials. Now, I have definitely been traveling a lot more recently, which means I definitely have a little bit more experience when packing my makeup travel bag. Because when I first started to travel, especially for like beauty events, I would get so nervous that I wouldn't have every single thing that I would need. So I think I would pack like two bags of makeup Makeup. not two suitcases because that would be insane but like two huge makeup bags and then once you actually get to your destination you realize that you only use like a quarter of the things that you bring and then it basically just becomes a huge waste of space so today I'm gonna be going through my travel makeup bag and I'm gonna be letting you guys know all the tips and tricks that I've learned through my travel experiences today's video is also in collaboration with Forio which is always really exciting I have collaborated with Forio in the past and today I'm gonna be featuring the Luna play which is like the tiny teeny little Foreo in their collection and this is honestly so great for traveling so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to let me know what you thought in the comments and let me know some of your travel essentials because I definitely would love to know so without further ado let's get into it so whenever I travel I always always have to bring my whole entire skincare routine just because that is one thing I will not compromise on especially when I am traveling I do always like to have some sort of like skin cleaning device with me because I find my skin just gets really congested and this really does help just sort Sort of calm my skin just a little bit and really clean it out so if you're like me and you're not really willing to give up your skin cleaning device when you travel then the Luna play is definitely a really great option because it is extremely portable as you can see comparing both of these side by side you can literally fit this in your pocket it honestly works the exact same way as the original Luna you just turn it on there's a button in the back it vibrates it also has a silicone brush head which I do prefer over like a normal brush brush head because I do find that the silicone is way more hygienic and I also find that it's more gentle on my sensitive skin. The only really big difference between this one and the original device is that this one is chargeable and this one is not. So you do get about six weeks of use out of this depending on how often you use it. So Foreo came out with this pack and play essentials kit which basically includes the Luna Play as well as two Sephora collection face masks. There's a green tea sheet mask and then there's also the green tea sleeping mask which looks like this. All also very travel friendly and then it also includes the day and night cleansers from Foreo which are awesome so if you're looking to try out the Foreo and you want to get some extra stuff with it this is definitely a great kit to try out so still staying in the realm of skincare something else that I always have to bring with me when I travel is a lip scrub like I said my skin gets really congested when I travel and it also gets really dry especially my lips so I always like to bring a lip scrub with me just to make sure I get all that dead skin off of there especially after the plane rides so, so I like to bring as little liquids as possible when I travel so for my foundation, I do like to bring stick foundation. The reason why I like this foundation in particular is because it is really versatile. So I can get a really nice, very light coverage with it by just applying it very lightly and then blending it with a damp sponge. Or I can get something a little bit more full coverage by applying it with a dense brush and applying it a little bit heavier. So this just basically gives me as many options as I want in a small little convenient tube, especially when I travel. I do not like to bring more than one foundation. So something else that I like to bring with me is the Glossier Priming moisturizer I actually like to mix this in with my foundation sometimes so what I'll do is I'll just scrape off a little bit of this foundation and mix it in with this priming moisturizer and it will give me more of like a tinted moisturizer effect especially when I'm traveling to like a hot destination I don't like to wear a ton of face makeup so if I want just a little bit of coverage then I will always mix in a little bit of foundation with this stuff and it is the perfect combination it's a really nice like compromise so I definitely think this is a really nice versatile product so that brings me to my next product which is the Tarte Tarte's Pro Glow to Go. This is a teeny teeny tiny little palette and this contains two highlighters and then one bronzer slash contour shade. So what's really nice about this is that you have three products in here in one very convenient little package. So this is definitely a product that I would recommend for your makeup bag. So as for concealer, I just bring one all around amazing concealer and it is the Tarte Shape Tape. Really just bring your go-to concealer and that's all you need. Now I would love to bring my RCM may no color powder which looks like this but the packaging is a little bit bulky and not so convenient to travel with so instead I do like to travel with a pressed powder so this is my hourglass dim light setting powder now this is one of my favorite powders because I am able to use it underneath my eyes as well as around my face so I don't need to have like two separate powders it's sort of an all-in-one for me which is awesome now as for blush I like to bring one and only one and I make sure to bring a neutral blush so that I have something that will go with absolutely anything that I decide 
decide to put on my face. So this is Tarte Sensual, and I feel like I've spoken about this product so often on my channel, but it's just because it's so amazing, and I really love the shade, and I really love the way it makes my skin look, and like I said, it goes with everything. So for my brows, I always like to bring a brow pencil because it takes up way less room than like a brow pomade. This is my Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Brow, and then of course, I will always bring a clear brow gel with me. Sometimes when I'm on vacation, I'll even skip the brow pencil and just throw on some brow gel and I'm good to go because honestly my makeup routine becomes so much more low maintenance when I'm on vacation. As for mascara, definitely just bring your one go-to mascara that doesn't smudge or flake on you. I would definitely bring something that is waterproof. For me, I love the Maybelline Lash Sensational. You guys know this is my favorite. Now as for lip products, <laughs> when I first started traveling for beauty events, I would bring I think every single lip product from every single category you could possibly imagine. And know what ended up happening? I ended up wearing literally one lip color throughout the whole entire trip. So I like to bring my favorite bite lipstick, which is meringue or honeycomb. And then I do like to bring another lip product that has a slightly different texture. This is my NARS Velvet Lip Glide in the shade Unlaced. It's actually what I'm wearing on my lips right now. So now let's talk about eyeshadow. So typically when I travel, I like to bring this palette over here. This is my Z palette that contains all of my most used single eyeshadows. So what's so great about using a Z palette when you're traveling is that you can take all of your single eyeshadows that you use the most and sort of just customize a little palette for yourself for when you're traveling of all of your most used colors so that you're really, you know, making good use of your space. You could definitely use something a little bit smaller, but this is what works for me. Another option is just taking a pre-made palette. I also love taking the Tarte Tarlet in Bloom because this also has so many shades that I use on a daily basis. And whenever I bring this palette with me, I never feel like I'm lacking anything. It also has a really great mirror and it is very nice and sturdy, so it's really great for traveling. So guys, that finishes off today's video. That's everything that I'd like to include in my makeup travel bag. Do not forget to let me know what you thought in the comments. Give this video a big thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're not subscribed already and I will see you guys next time.